All right, guys, back again this week, and this video is gonna be all about doors. Now, dealing with these dang doors in this cargo trailer has been one of the most frustrating parts of this entire job because trailer doors are not meant to come off. They're not meant to be opened up. They're meant to be built at the factory and then stay that way forever, right? So the entire process of taking the doors off, insulating them, doing anything you need to do to the doors is fairly frustrating, I found. Now in this video, we're gonna insulate the doors. We're gonna cut a window in one of the doors on the back, and I'm gonna finally fix the uh, handle situation on the side entry door as well. Um, a lot of things to digest in this video, so let's get to it. All right, guys, so back outside again. It's a lovely Sunday afternoon here. Caitlin's working in her garden back here behind me. Uh, hello, Caitlin. Yep, we are going to uh, try to insulate our doors today. We're gonna see if it's gonna work. I bought like one inch insulation and I'm concerned it might be a little too thick to actually uh, fit in the doors. We're gonna see. So we're gonna have to take the doors off and try to get some insulation in them. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> As I was doing this, I'm not gonna lie, I was having major second thoughts because, you know, I basically had to completely disassemble this door to get this panel off. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to put it back together, disassemble, we will see. But as soon as I got the back of, back of it off the bottom, look at this, it's covered in mold. Like the whole bottom of the door was covered in mold, which means water was getting inside of the door. And this is why you do your own work, because you never know what you're going to find. Ew. All right, well, my insulation is in fact too thick, which means I gotta go back to the store and get some half inch insulation. But, you know, I'm pretty interested. This thing is looks different than I thought it was. I thought for sure there was going to be metal inside of the store, and there's not. It's all legitimately just wood, which is kind of crappy I'm not gonna lie <laughs> there's no metal inside the door at all not even to hold the you know the bars in place to keep it locked it's just wood so that sucks I don't think I'm gonna do anything about it but you know well I just uh learned a valuable lesson you know I've hauled a lot of things on top of my car before but I've never hauled a poly iso um note to self poly iso does not stay on the roof it will, in fact, blow off driving down the highway, even if you have uh, four ratchet straps on top of it. So, we are back at the store after cleaning up a bunch of insulation off the highway. And, uh, you know, I'm too embarrassed to go back to Home Depot where I just bought that from. So, here I am at, uh, at Lowe's. <laughs> so, I can buy more insulation. All right, this time, I'm not going to blow off my roof because I'm going to cut them up in the parking lot. This is the weirdest thing we've ever done. Maybe not the weirdest, but maybe the dumbest. All right. All right. Let's try this again. It's all behind me this time. None of it's on the roof. kind of see that it looks pretty rotten and wet down here at the bottom of these doors so you know they're not really sealed very good so I'm having to there's these weird long staples inside of here that I've had to just ram a screwdriver under to try to pull out 
Um, and I'm just gonna replace these boards on the inside of the bottom here and then hopefully reseal it up good so this doesn't happen again. Well, I've uh, kind of done something stupid here. So I got the whole door assembled and uh, I look over and I see this window sitting here over there on uh, my workbench, the window sitting right there. And I was like, damn it, I forgot to put the window in. So thought I would be real smart and be like, it's fine. You know, I got there's a little bit of wood I can screw into inside the door. I'll just, uh, you know, I'll just screw it in. So I, I tried to do that and long story short, didn't work at all. <laughs> so I've had to completely disassemble the door. All right, so that's what I've done. I've completely disassembled the door. I have it disassembled behind me here and I'm having to restructure it. So that's what we got right here. I'm using some little boards I got to just sort of build a frame around the window and then I'll re-insulate it and re-foam it. It made a huge mess. Oh my gosh, this has been pretty tedious. Look at the back of this thing, a little foam stuck to it. I don't know if I'm gonna have to clean some of that off. It's just, oh, it's not good, but you know, live and learn, I guess. is scraping all the silicone off of this door because I did a pretty bad job of putting it on. You know, like you see, I made a kind of a big mess of it. And there's uh, more if you do it down here. I yeah, hold this stuff off yet. You can see it down there it's a little very better. Gloppy. It's supposed to be clear silicone, but it was not. I mean, it's more like opaque. Opaque. I mean, it looks bad. So I mean, it looks yeah. like crap. Do you want me to take it off this too? Yeah, I think okay. so. I'll, I'll try and be very careful. So she's using a razor blade and trying to scrape it off. It's not going to be pretty. Still, I mean. You can see it left a lot of residue, and I don't really know. I can't really get it off. I'm going to have to do some more reading, see if we can figure out how to get it all off. Maybe some alcohol or something would help wipe it uh, off. But I think it'll come off with time, but you can just rub it. Yeah. We'll get it off. I mean, besides, it's all scratched up, and the trailer is all scratched up and stuff. So, like, I mean, it's just how it is with the cargo trailer. So, it'll be all right. So, I've been debating a lot about how to actually deal with the door situation on the trailer because i want to do uh, like a deadbolt type of thing so you can lock it from the inside at night and that sort of thing um you know i recognize that uh if somebody really wants to get in they're going to get in um i mean the walls are pretty thin right but this is really just to deter somebody maybe a drunk person or something just from like accidentally going in your door that's what they were sort of thing at night so let me kind of show you what i have in mind so i got a handle and a deadbolt and i have some latches I think I am going to mount these onto the wall over here. And by doing that, it will give these door latches something to mount into. The problem, and I've seen this in lots of other videos as well, is this stupid piece here, because it's in the way. Um, 
you can't close the door over any sort of latch because this thin piece of aluminum that sticks out right here that allows it to seal. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut back on here so there's like a notch out of this and then I'll worry about whether sealing it a little later. <laughs> What am I doing, you ask? Well, I'm giving up on this door. That's what I'm doing. I really tried to make some door latches work, and they wouldn't. So yeah, I got these ugly holes in my door, scratched all to hell, and it looks like shit. So I gotta figure out how to replace it. So, here we are, covering up the holes. I can figure out a solution. I'm gonna call the trailer manufacturer. I'm gonna ask them if they can send me a new door. Ugh! Jesus. You know, I really hate this door. I messed up the door, obviously. Cut big holes in it to try to put a door handle in it. Didn't work. I scratched it all up. I talked to the trailer manufacturer and I was like, hey, listen. I need a new door. So I, uh, I sent them everything they needed, a bunch of pictures and stuff. And they're like, yeah, that's no problem. It'll be $750 for the door, $350 to uh, assemble the door. And then, and I quote, hundreds of dollars for uh, freight shipping. I'm not gonna drop over a thousand dollars on this one door. I mean, that's like 20% of what I paid for the trailer. So. What I've done is I picked up a piece of steel. I think it's like 16 gauge steel. They sell, they sell these little sheets or whatever at, at Lowe's and it comes like this and uh, I spray painted it like this, uh, you know, aluminum silver color. So it'll kind of match the rest of the, the rest of the aluminum. And I'm just gonna bolt this thing into place. I'll put another piece on the back and is it gonna look great? No, but it's gonna look better than giant holes in my door. Right, there's the mounted piece. It looks pretty good, other than the freaking paper towel mark that I left right there when I clamped it on there. Dang, man, it was almost perfect. Oh well, we'll have to maybe sand that off and give it a little spray later. Oh well, looks pretty good, I think. I don't think it stands out too much from the door. I think it's acceptable. So, okay, on to the next thing. Okay, let me show you what I did with the door here since I screwed it all up. First of all, the obvious one, right? I covered the holes with a steel plate on the front here. I make sure to keep a little overhang right here. So because I cut out a notch right here on the door to try to make the door handle work and it just wasn't gonna work. So um, I covered it up. So it's fairly continuous with the door now. On the inside, I cut I cut a hole out here for the doors and that was a mess. So I took a little piece of aluminum angle, which you can see here, and I cut it to size and then I had to run it through the table saw to make it a little shorter. And it's still a hair short. I'm gonna put some silicon in there, right? But I covered that up. Then on the back, I have another steel plate covering those holes. So when I go back with my actual door handle thing, which I'll show you here in a little bit, um, I'm just gonna go right through the steel plate. So actually it'll be, extra secure. And then on this side where I notched out my little hole, it looked bad. So I got another piece of um, aluminum, that same piece I left over from the door and I just cut it out and covered the edge there. And you know, I think it looks pretty good, all things considered. Anyway, glad to be done with this stupid project. All right, so the next project we're gonna do is we are going to put some paneling on these doors. So I bought this thin paneling at Home Depot. Uh, I guess I got it at Lowe's. You can see it's kind of thin, whereas normal tongue and groove is about an inch thick. This is probably about a quarter inch thick, so it should be pretty light. It was a little pricey, 
but still the price of lumber is expensive right now. Um, and we are going to put this on the door. got the doors pretty much finished got to put the handle in but man I'm very pleased with how these uh, tongue and groove pieces came out let me give you the tour so here is the side door it looks really really clean I'm glad I did this one last because this one you're gonna be using the most often and I had really got the hang of it by then so you can kind of see what I had to do I had to use the drill press to um, put the holes in so I could still get to these hinge screws if I ever need to um, and also they stick out pretty far so like it would bring the wood too far forward and I was able to find the screws it was kind of a pain in the butt but I was able to find the screws by like whacking on it because it's cedar so it's soft so it put a little indentation in the back of it so then I took it inside with my drill press and just drilled these one inch holes and I did that for all the hinge screws and the latch screw over here so man it looks super super good if we go around to the back we have these two done as well here's this one nice straight clean clean one this one's not quite as pretty as the other one because the first one i did you can see i um i didn't know what to do with the holes the first one here so i did a notch and that doesn't look great and then this one i need to put some wood filler in because it kind of nicked it but i think i can fix some of this stuff with wood filler it's not really that big of a deal and then lastly this door looks really nice and clean with the uh, with the window cut out in it. I don't really know what I'm gonna do yet as far as trim. Some kind of curved trim, I think, is what I'm gonna end up doing. But like, man, it looks really good. And because they're so thin, I mean, you can really see how thin it is here. It's a quarter inch. The doors are heavier, but like not, not so heavy that it feels like it's a problem. I don't know. I think it looks really good. Um, it looks good from the inside too. And uh, yeah, I'm very pleased with how the doors came out. that fighting has finally resulted in a completed door and it looks pretty good relatively simple it's just a little shed lock so when this is open like that you can push it closed and turn it and it just latches on and it's pretty snug I mean door I don't think it would leak so see on the inside you just turn it and it just turns this little thing and Come in the inside now. You can see how it just keeps the door from opening. Anyway, simple latch, I think that'll do. All right guys, that's the end of this one. I appreciate you guys watching and following along. I know this was a bit of a longer one, but man, these doors were like the bane of my existence, I swear. If you like this content, you want more like it, be sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video. It helps people find us. And uh, I guess until next time, let's keep building.